zwei Tage. New situation, only two days to go, so this is going to be a very exciting week for Austrian tourism because uh, the day after tomorrow, after almost seven months, all tourism business, businesses will be able to reopen and they will do this with great pleasure and well prepared with lots of creative ideas and concepts. And this is what we want to have a look at under the motto, Restart Austrian Tourism, the return of travel and opportunities. So I would like to welcome to the most important industry event of the year, the Austrian Tourism Days 2020, organized by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, Regions and Tourism, the Austrian Economic Chamber, and the Austrian National Tourist Office. For the first time, for the first time, this event is taking place online with a live stream from this um, very great studio at Messe Wien. And I've been told then that more than 1,500 participants are here with us today. These are representatives of the industry of Austria, all from other foreign countries and also from international media. We, we are very happy that you are all here. This event is in German, but for the English-speaking guests, there is simultaneous interpretation into English. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking forward to three days where two events will take place. The one on the one hand, e-campus for tourist experts and media and there will be a lot of knowledge, inspiration, panel discussions, lectures, and lots of impulses. And there will be also be the ATBB virtual, a virtual trade fair of uh, exhibitioners with uh, and purchases, and of course, the goal is uh, to establish new business race relationships or deepen existing ones. And the most important topic, of course, is the, the great comeback of tourism, the restart, and we will talk of the future of traveling. We will talk about uh, how the expectations and the behavior of guests and vacationers has changed during the pandem pandemic and how we will respond to this. We as a tourist host country, and how will travel look like in the future, and what new concepts and ideas have been worked out. And we will show new concepts, best practices, and this is a very big sign of the fact that tourism and the industry is alive. So I would like to open this event officially now, and we will do this with very distinguished guests here in the studio. Of course, we are distancing, we are all tested. So I am pleased to welcome the Minister of Agriculture, Regions and Tourism, Elisabeth Köstinger, we are glad that you are here today, and there is also President of the Austrian Economic Chamber, Mr. Harald Mara, and uh, the Chairman of the Federal Section of the Austrian Federal Economic Chamber, Robert Seber, and there is also CEO of the Austrian National Tourist Office, Petra Stoiber. She will participate.
participate uh, via video. So, um, Mrs. Uh, Minis, uh, this is a very exciting day, a very exciting week for us. Austrian tourism was hard hit by the pandemic. It was a tough time, but now everything is about relaunching a comeback, a restart. Absolutely. Also, I would also like to welcome everybody to the Austrian Tourism Days. Uh, the timing is just great. The countdown has started, the countdown for reopening of hospitality, of tourism. The past 15 months ha were a very difficult and tough time for the industry and it was tough for all of us. No stone has been unturned. Everything has changed. Uh, everything was different. different. I talked with the owner, the landlord of the Café Landmann, and he said when there was the first lockdown in March, he was not able to find uh, the light switch in the cellar because at his cafe, uh, the, the light was on all the time because the, co the coffee shop was open all the time. So we see how this pandemic has changed everything and how difficult it was for the businesses to cope with this. At the beginning of the pandemic, we had no idea how long is it, it is going to last and how many ups and downs we will have have to cope with because for Austria tourism is an essential part and factor of the economy and together with the Austrian Economic Chamber and with many representatives of the industry, we tried to support the entire industry as much as possible. There were a lot of uh, financial and economic aids provided to the industry. It also, we used the instrument of short-time working arrangement in order to to keep the workforce within uh, the industry, not to lose the workforce. And I think this has worked well also compared to other European and international countries. We are uh, number one in uh, Austria as far as economic aids and support is compared, uh, is uh, concerned. And now we are here today. I'm very happy to be able to say that we are going to reopen, to restart tourism, and we will be able to bring Austria's businesses to onto world top level again. I'm sure that this will be possible. This is also very a very important topic for the Austrian Economic Chamber, which has done so much for the industry. What are your personal expectations? First of all, thank you for the invitation. I remember a few years ago also those, those Austrian tourism day, days with many experts and representatives of uh, the industry. We talked about digitization and how we can defend our position on the top. And nobody would have been able to imagine what such a pandemic could lead to uh, whether we are talking of summer tourism, cultural tourism, city tourism, regional tourism. It was a full stop for all of us, not only here in Austria, but around the globe. And now the question is whether we see it as a stop or whether we see an opportunity to continue to restart. The mood is telling us everybody wants to reopen as soon as possible to show what they are able to do with passion, with, the, with their heart, with their hospitality, and also with their their desire to serve their guests, to serve vacationers. This, this is something that is so important for tourism, and this has always characterized Austrian tourism. And therefore, this 19th of May is 
a day of freedom for the Austrian industry, for the cultural industry, for, for hotels, for rest restaurants, and all those who, supply, who are suppliers of the industries. Also, for those who want to go to a, to a uh, hair saloon again, uh, go and see something. So everybody is ready. Everybody is prepared with all sorts of safety and security protocols and concepts. And uh, we see that uh, this is not the case in, in other countries. But here in Austria, everybody is ready. And there are many, many safety concepts. And now vaccination is also speeding up. And uh, I can say that uh, booking is great for the summer. So there is a lot of optimism. And, but mo most important is uh, the motivation of the employees of the industry. This is the heart. This is the center of the Austrian of the Austrian industry to to serve the guests with a lot of emotion and with this great feeling of hospitality. So we all look forward to the 19th of, of May. Yes, you said the mood is, is good, but not only the representatives of the industry are ready, but also the guests from Austria and from abroad are ready to come to Austria to vacation here. And I think that holidays in Austria will thrive again as never before, and this is also the opinion of the Austrian National Tourist Office, and now Petra Stoiber is going to talk to you. Thank you. I am very happy to be able to be part of this great restart of tourism. You mentioned it already. Uh, vacation in Austria will revive again. It will start thriving again, and here the preparation of the tourism uh, sector is very important and also of the concept, the safety co concept, tested, vaccinated or recovered and uh, decisions uh, based on the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control map. Austria is uh, very sought after in the near uh, near countries, but also overseas, and man, many plan to cycle, to hike, to climb, to go swimming. People long for nature, fresh air, and also for a quiet vacation. And this is something Austria can provide. Uh, we now see more and more bookings since uh, it was announced that businesses will reopen again on the 19th of May. Of May, and there is a very positive picture as far as bookings are concerned. People are ready to vacation again, to travel again, and in this context, uh, it is very important to have uh, unified entry and exit regulations. And Austria is actually asking for this on European level, level. and a high level of transparency is very important for our guests as well. And therefore, we provide information in different languages. And we, uh, and this uh, information is current all the time. So summer vacation in Austria will take place under certain conditions. Safety and security is most important when there is a lot of trust that all these measures will be implemented accordingly. And uh, there are many examples of this. And also in our communication, we try to show what we are able to provide to our 
vacationers and our summer campaign together with more than 40 partners. A good summer is waiting for you is where Austria presents itself on the most important markets, Germany, um, uh, Germany and many other European countries. And now there is also a promotion at O3 radio programs, and many have already made their booking. But we are also starting a, a spa campaign where we promote Austria also as a leading destination, also in the field of conventions and congresses. We only invest in marketing, so uh, we are also working out new formats for congresses and conventions. And also those uh, Austrian tourism days together with ATB Virtual are a flagship, flagship uh, example. We open the doors to the world. And so I wish all our international participants and guests, and I wish also everybody working in Austrian tourism to have three interesting days. And uh, I want all the best for all enterprises, for all hotels, for the whole business yeah. opening on the 19th of May. Well, so the CEO of the uh, Austrian National Tourist Office is looking forward with great enthusiasm. And so now I would like to ask also, well, Mrs. Stolber said already in two days we will open. I'm sure, Mr. Robert Seba, a lot is happening now. Everybody is prepared and the business is well prepared, yes? Yes. How, well, I would also like to welcome you, Mrs. Minister, Mr. President. I'm here as a representative of the Division Tourism, and I'm a representative of 90 uh, business uh, enterprises, and I can answer, yes, we are really very eager to open again. We are well prepared. We are happy to be a host again. And we had a very difficult time. We had nine months, a very difficult time. And this lockdown, of course, uh, has left its marks. But what is quite positive are also inquiries and surveys, which we did in our division. And it's quite evident that 80% of Austria plan to have summer holidays and 72 percent of German tourists want to spend holidays in summer and well the Germans are our main guests and 13 percent which is 5.7 million people well in our division we also have a cooperation cooperation with Ö3 uh, this the so-called holiday karaoke and also the feedback shows us that people are really hungry. They really want to have normal life. They really want to see our or our enterprises again. Everybody is looking forward. And here I would like to thank also Mrs. Minister for just supporting the green passport, which is one of the main uh, conditions in order to have free traveling in Europe. And I'm sure we have all preconditions as far as uh, safety measures are concerned, as far as the beauty of our country is concerned. So everything is prepared for this big comeback. Mrs. Minister, you said already a lot has been prepared. Let's say we are on a very good way as far as vaccination is concerned. We are on a very good way as the green certificate is concerned. Also here we are kind of a pioneer. Uh, could you just 
tell in a few words how we will go on. During the last months, we have thought what we could do in order to uh, cope better with the crisis, in order to enable more freedom. Pandemic, of course, needs certain limitations of contact, but for a touristic country like Austria, this is the most deciding moment. You want to meet people, you want to come to Austria, and you have to find ways in order to welcome guests again in our country. And together with our Chancellor, Mr. Sebastian Kurz, we were thinking a lot which tool we could use in order to have free traveling again. And so we developed the idea of the green passport. During the last year, uh, months, we have supported this on all levels of the European Union with a lot of discussions also as with other tourism, uh, tourism ministers. We want it. We want to start earlier in Austria. We want to open our hotels, our restaurants again. Of course, it takes a certain amount of uh, safety. Of course, we have quite high speed of vaccination, but it will take a few months still, a few weeks still, sorry, before everybody can be vaccinated who wants to be vaccinated. And we also had a very uh, intensive test strategy. Every Austrian can can test himself or herself once a day without charges. And this is also the idea behind the green passport. Everything is uh, as a proof of corona status. It might be an SMS. It might be a, a certificate, a vaccination certificate, or the green passport. Everything is possible in order to combine freedom and safety. The second phase will start in June, where we also have a digital passport. And we really wanted to uh, connect this with the European solution. So at the beginning of June, there will be this QR code of the European Union, which will be seen on every negative corona test, every and also everybody who has recovered from COVID. And when we have this green passport in Europe, then the Austrian solution is already existing. And we hope that with our system, we can provide free traveling. So these three phases will be deciding uh, in order to have free traveling again. And the second item, which is very important for us, and I've never been on the phone so much as last week, we want, of course, to cancel quarantine uh, conditions. Well, we want to adapt our entry regulations, so tested, restored, or vaccinated persons do not have to spend quarantine in Austria. And of course, we want other countries to follow our example, because we, as a touristic country, we need guests, especially Germany is a very important market for us, especially in summer. And on Thursday, we could succeed that also Germany is adapting entry and re-entry conditions. So the rules which are existing in Austria are also existing in Germany for re-entering Germany. And we have also succeeded that guests can be tested without charges in Austria. So everybody who travels back to Germany, to the Netherlands, to Denmark can go to an Austrian test uh, unit, can have a free corona test in Austria. And so this is a very good package uh, for Austria, which Austria offers apart from new, nice nature from nice countryside. And we are looking forward to welcome guests in Austria. So this is great. This is also showing how many things you have done already. A lot of positive information. Mr. President, Corona crisis did not only have negative effects, but also positive effects. When we just consider that the crisis was also a turbo for innovation, and you will present a few concepts during the next three days. Uh, there are some tendencies which have been supported in a positive way. Well, this is digitization. Somebody who said before the crisis sounds interesting. I will do it maybe during the next five or ten um, years. And they just succeeded within weeks to use it for themselves. For example, food supply, ordering food. A lot of small restaurants have used the platform. 
months when um, uh, restaurants were open in summer again, people said, well, but I have more turnover uh, when people are ordering just with these food platforms. And uh, also the ready-made or convenience food in supermarkets was sold less. So this is a new tendency. And every participant on the market is joining. Well, uh, the, the potential for Austria is, of course, innovative tourism. And, well, we have heard already, Robert Seba said already, people are hungry for holidays. People want to be free again after they were more or less closed in their home. People do not like to be closed in, in their homes. And this also means rethinking as far as uh, your own home country is concerned. People are enjoying spending holidays at home. Of course, this has an effect on international tourism. This is also a kind of challenge for Austria. But there is also a lot of chances just to get to know this wonderful country with this beautiful nature and to find a new position for this country. Because all countries are thinking how they can position themselves again for their own tourists. And I think we are in advance because we have good conditions. We open, uh, we have very good safety conditions for opening. Pandemic will not disappear on the 19th of May. No, on the contrary, pandemic will continue. And we see that on the Asian market, borders are still very uh, closed. They probably will not allow tourists to leave the country but it's a chance for us to show that freedom and safety can have a balance. One year ago, we presented the concept uh, safety restaurants. We wanted to have uh, tests for our employees, and everybody was finding, finding fault with us. People ask why we do not need these tests, but uh, we were thinking ahead with the representatives of business and politics. Uh, well, measures which sometimes seem to be natural, but you have sometimes you have to take a risk testing just. She really was very positive, but I really appeal to you, without a high degree of vaccination, we will not be one of the safest tourist countries in the world. And so I ask everybody, please, uh, vaccinate yourself, tell others to be vaccinated. We need a cer certain quota, which is not important for us, for our families, for our business, but it is also a good sign, it's a good marketing sign to show to other countries. In Austria, we have a high degree of vaccination. It is a safe country. You can travel there. And of course, we need international guests. So testing vaccination, this green certificate is a game changer for the reason start of tourism. And Seba, we will also see a lot of new examples of past practice examples showing that with high innovation, we can cope with the future. Innovation uh, is a Latin word, innovare, which means renewing, and traditions on the other side, which are part of our uh, identity. What are the two items which are important for the success? We have heard today already already corona crisis, of course, left its traces in our enterprises, but we also have new information now, and we have a new possibility for a reorientation. Tourism will change always and will be also between modern life and trad traditions. But we see already now a new development Then tourism will strengthen its key position in Austria. 15 percent of our uh, GP uh, general uh, pr national product is, of course, uh, earned with tourism. And also a lot of other in industry is connected with tourism. So this balance 
difference between modernism and tradition is important for the future. We are also talking, talking about the customer journey. This means digitization, this means content marketing, this means hybrid virtual events, which we are having one today. But there's also one thing which is will be also important in tourism. People, uh, the men, uh, will be in the center, everybody. And if we, as a touristic specialist, I may say we have a main advantage compared with other countries. We have a kind of USP, we have a kind of mixture of good food, I have to say this. We have a mixture of identity, of identity, of professionalism, and we have excellent cultural enterprises. So we are in a very good position. But man himself or herself is transporting this, and our enterprises are the rockets, let's say, the rockets with our products, with our food, with our events, with our Congress, and they will transport this, and we are very positive. So this uh, virtual hybrid aspect is not going to go away, but still men and people will continue to be in the, in the center of everything. And we very much look forward to reopening. Yes, we also do. And those people, they will also be in the center. They will present their new concepts. Miss uh, Minister, so we have heard quite a lot of this uh, way into the future. What is necessary for the restart and what do you expect of the Austrian tourism days? For me, there are three things that are decisive. Uh, short term, medium term, term, and then long term. So most important is that this reopening process will work. I know it's uh, we ask a lot uh, from the industry, from the from the workforce, the, the security and safety concepts, the distancing, and uh, we, we can't just open because in Israel. We saw, we saw where there was a vaccination rate of 60%, and still they had to implement an yet another lockdown. So this reopening process is a tricky one, and therefore I ask everybody to participate, to support all these safety protocols. And the second thing is a strategic question as far as tourism is concerned. We have seen that everything has changed fundamentally recently, and we saw that there are lots of strengths, but also weaknesses of tourism, and also the labor market is a is very important here. Of course, uh, tourism is attractive to employees, but there has been a great growth uh, of 40,000 more jobs were created during the past few years. And of course, there was a deficit. And due to this, there was a deficit in jobs. And together with uh, the with Minister Martin Kocher, we want to initiate uh, a new uh, we want to uh, we want to start a new initiative to make uh, tourism more attractive for employees and then uh, an important topic is um, financing the equity rate is too low in tourism and we need to work out concepts of sustainably financing uh, tourism bus businesses providing subsidies and support and uh, with the with the aim to improve uh, the equity rate and of course 
we live of our guests and of our vacationers, but uh, the regions are not only here for guests and tourists, but also for those people who live there. And an important uh, issue are the guests of the future. What do people expect from Austria, whether they come here as a vacation, as vacationers or as participants of uh, conventions and congresses? And this are, these are also the expectations. So. Uh, of uh, our tourist businesses uh, to work out together how we can become world class, a world class host country again, and what we need to do in order to meet the expectations. Yes, there will be an e event. Uh, today in the evening on the uh, traveling behavior of the future. So many things are going on in the industry, Mr. President. What do we need for the restart and what do you expect? of those three days. I think uh, that uh, the businesses will be able uh, to take away a lot of ideas of new principles of initiatives, um, but I trust those uh, businesses that they know how to do it. They are ready and they know what is necessary to meet the expectations. But still, competition is going to grow. And within this competition, we need to work out innovation, digitization, positioning. So there needs to be a wow effect so that everybody will say what Austria is number one in tourism and it's just great wow. So this wow effect we all want to generate. And uh, Mr. Seber is an important voice of the industry. What do we need and what do you expect of those tourism days? As representative of the industry, I would like to say that we, na that we need good uh, framework conditions and we need an uh, entrepreneurial, touristic forward movement. Very important is uh, the labor market in the tourism sector. There is, an, there is a fear that many might move on to other sectors. So this means we need to extend uh, the short-term working arrangements. We also need a tourism fund. Uh, we need to an extension of the fixed cost subsidy to 4 million euros and an extension of uh, uh, of uh, grants and a reduction of VAT. And for the guests of the future, big data is going to accompany us also in the future. We need to meet the expectation along the customer journey, as I mentioned before, and we know that tourism policy is also regional policy, so we need to cooperate with all the businesses along the along the value chain. And I would also like to thank everybody. It's been a tough time for everybody, and I would like to thank for the uh, support uh, from the minister. Also, I would like to thank President Mara for his support. And I can say that as far as the economic aid is concerned, this was a big help for the businesses. And now we need to roll up our sleeves and start over. Uh, Mrs. Minister, not only this event, but also these days are the days of reopening. So thank you very much, Minister, President, uh, Mr. Seber and Peter Stolber. This was 
was the start of the Austrian tourism days, and in a few minutes, we will continue our discussion, discussions and panels. There will be different examples of digitizations and new ideas presented, and we will take you virtually to the most beautiful and scenic places of Austria. And this all will be live from our studio. It's going to be exciting. Please stay with us. We will continue in a few, in a few minutes. Thank you.